The days and weeks of the legislative session this year, Senator, are running down. We're down to the, the final three weeks of session already. Yes, and you can really tell because you have less of the back and forth, I think, because we realize that time is running out and there are so many policy positions that we're trying to get across the line that are of utmost importance. What we saw this week is the floor action really was quite a bit smoother than we've seen in the months past. While we were clicking along on the floor, we had the budget being marked up at the same time. And the Budget Committee was meeting until, you know, way into the evening hours and really has done great work of getting through that quickly. Once we got the budget from the House, really getting through that. And so I appreciate their work. So next week, I anticipate that the budget becomes the primary focus. May 6th is our constitutional deadline for the budget. But then, of course, May 13th is our final day of session. So what you're seeing now in both houses are omnibus bills, meaning, you know, if a Senate bill has made it to the House floor, House members will start loading it up with their bills. And the same in the Senate, you know, what we saw today, you have a House bill come up on the Senate floor, then we'll put amendments on that are our bills that have made it to some place in the process, but doesn't look like it's going to get across the line. One of my bills is kind of becoming a health care omnibus bill, and so that's in the House. I think we're going to get multiple good things on it. I look forward to seeing, you know, what the House sends that back looking like. There is a amendment for a House member that I'm working on getting on some bills over here in the Senate for suicide awareness and getting more education in our schools and with our teachers for that so that they can recognize some signs. I think that we've done a lot of work with mental health this year, and that really does please me. Even with all of the upside downness that we have seen, we have seen a really great focus in both houses on our mental health needs. I do look forward to seeing some of those get across the line. What has not occurred yet is we don't have a ban on critical race theory in our schools, and so that is something that we must get across the line to the governor's desk. We have not yet gotten the ban on transgender folks playing in women's sports. We must get that across the line to the governor's desk. And then we haven't accomplished election reforms, and so that's point three that we really need to get done through both houses and to the governor's desk. So three weeks left to go. We will see. But when you get down to the last few weeks, you start seeing folks stop messing around and everyone start pushing in the same direction.